Hello and welcome to this checkmate pattern video. In this video you will learn a very cool mating pattern that you can use when you're trying to mate on the A and H file with rooks. Very important. And this mating pattern is so powerful that it was enough to defeat the world champion. We can look at that game. It was a famous internet game played in 2020. A Brazilian grandmaster by the name of Subi. And he played this against Magnus Carlsen. So this is where my name for, for the pattern comes. And let's have a look at it. Uh, Supi had white and we had the Scandinavian. I'm gonna go over the game quickly. Knight f3. White played sensibly here and, uh, and got castled quickly. Uh, Magnus gave away the bishop pair. And he castled queen side. So usually this is a this is an aggressive way to play for black. He wants to you know get things going on the king side. But in this game it was actually white that got things going on the queen side. Knight b5. Intending to just leave the knight there, kind of a fishing pole trap, and try to open the a-file. Now here, Carlson should have taken the knight and played queen d3, you know, stopping white from, from, from getting over here. But he delayed it, and that cost him. And after this, it's probably too late. Bishop f4, very strong. Pressure here. Now Magnus took the knight. But now the a-file is actually deadly, and Magnus thought he could make a run for it. But... Sorry, Magnus. No Supi for you. Supi will not defeat, be defeated, and Supi found the move. Queen to c6. And well, let's just see how Magnus reacted. Ooh. That is dirty. Wow. 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 That is awesome. Really awesome. Really awesome. Okay. Okay. There's nothing. There's nothing I can do, right? It's just mate. Wow. So as you can see, Magnus was pretty impressed, and well, probably should have been. It's a very nice move, but I've seen this pattern before, and I've actually covered it. One of my early pattern recognition videos had this exact pattern, and. We're gonna call it no soupy for you, uh, in honor of, of this win by by soupy. And of course, I'm referring to the soup Nazi from from uh, from Seinfeld. If you're not familiar with that, you should definitely definitely check it out. One of the early memes: no soup for you, no soupy for you. And when I covered it, uh, I actually named it for Anand. But we're gonna change that. Nonetheless, we're gonna look at this. Beautiful example by Anand, and he's in a heavy battle here against Vladimir Kramnik, and the battle lines are drawn, rook d7. Anand is trying to break through and use the h-file. Meanwhile, white is breaking through on the on the queen side, but he has to turn right. Like in the King, King's Indian, you break through, and then you have to turn right to get to the king. So black is throwing everything at white here, and giving up his queen side. Queen takes f4, b takes c6, and white doesn't really worry too much because it looks like black doesn't have a threat. If we play rook h1, it doesn't look like mate. The king starts to run, and this is probably not mate. You know, the king can start running, and maybe black has a perpetual, but maybe the king just runs. It probably runs, but. We don't have to worry about that because we know the pattern and Anna knew it and he played queen to f3 and this well if the king starts to run it's now blocked either by the queen or the pawn coming to replace the queen so this function of the pawn and the queen is enough to uh, stop the king and we can also add that the queen when it has a bishop here we have this axe reaction going down to the h1 square so the threat is actually if, if you take on p7 with the queen i have this actuary mate Czechoslovakia. Checkmate. In the game, he took on b7, but simply king f5. Best square for the king, avoiding any any you know stalling checks like this one. And now, yeah, simply game over. If you go back, if you, if you take on f3, same thing happens, takes king f5, and the mate simply cannot be stopped. Game over. So this is our yeah, basic skeleton. It could be it could be a pawn and the king running like in the Carlson case, 
but the main idea is to to stop the running we also have the x-ray threat as you saw in the last game but this is just game more and sometimes it's so strong that the rook can be over here somewhere and just you know next move we'll, we'll swing it over and of course this this hinges on you know black not being able to block maybe, maybe having a rook here or a bishop somewhere here or anything uh, of that kind or having a counter play against our king being able to trade the rooks or something like that if nothing nothing of that kind is in, uh, you know in the position this is simply made a few simple examples david norwood here against uh, christian meyer and norwood played queen f6 in this case the rook is not on the h file but but the threat is so strong that black can't do anything if he takes the rook is coming next move and black is just too slow with the counterplay the only thing he can do is just give up the queen but then he'll be you know down a piece and white is in full control of the position it's gonna win easily in the actual game black played this but knight d1 just calmly protecting and black even resigned here because you know you have to give up the queen otherwise it's gonna be made a very similar example the setup here knight d4 and the rook moved over to the h file and black took on e3 not realizing what white's threat was he didn't have a threat yet but now he has a threat what did he play yep of course bishop f6. sorry queen f6 threatening the x-ray there's no direct you know queen takes anything there's no trade there's nothing coming here so after this yeah it's just nothing to be done it's gonna be made uh, and now one of my favorite uh, favorite examples of this and you know the way that every move sets up the pattern it's clear that black already saw it from this position it's Mikhail Gurevich one of my favorite players by the way he took on g3 the idea open the h-file maybe what should take with a pawn but then okay we still attack on the h-file and maybe this pawn is weak as well so I thought okay the bishop is covering h1 i'm not gonna get mated he's gonna need the bishop to trade my bishop and even if he does that i can i can put the knight on e4 so it looks like the h, h file is safe when you have a bishop you need more than you know two rooks when the bishop is covering h1 that's not enough for mate you need more as we'll see in the pattern so h uh h6 d3 rook b6 attacking this we're not only attacking we're also opening up for the rook that's the idea swing the rook over so to swing it over we need to move the bishop so why not attack material you know, every move is a threat every move is a threat root d to h6 b to h6 white wants to activate the queen but now queen f6 like i said two rooks are not going to mate against the fianciero bishop because the bishop simply covers the square so we need more and more is coming at the queen a3 trying to get out double attack it's true but the mate threat is stronger queen f3 pagurovic if you take the bishop it's mate he took the pawn with jack but simply king g8 and there's no way to stop the mate you can take the queen but no soupy for you no soupy for you and that's game over we can even add a little bit uh to this pattern and uh yeah it's basically the same pattern and this game gives you a good idea it's uh, Sera one against Pelyavsky. If, if you play the Slav, maybe this gives you a good idea against the exchange Slav. A little bit of a bonus here. You know, getting the pieces out. Bishop f5. Knight d7. Notice that black isn't castling. And he plays a quick g5. Then h5. Threatening to trap the bishop. So now g4. He opens the h file. It's almost unbelievable how quickly black wins here. Knight e5. He took it. f6. Attacking the bishop. Also opening up for the king. King f7. Now we're ready to, uh, you know, throw stuff on the h file. Rook h5. Queen d2. But this is a bad move because bishop to e4. King starts to run. It's too late. This time it's a bishop, but it's the same function. We cover these squares. Nothing to be done. And in fact, uh, Seyravan resigned. He can take, but there's mate and if you go here it's not a rook it's a queen but it's the same nothing to be done it's gonna be mate finally 
Uh, the final example is for you. Should be simple enough. What did white play in this position? Tell me in the comments. And as always, leave the likes. It's very helpful. Do appreciate it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.